Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is doing good. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, for today's digital event that focuses on enhancing field force efficiency with Sears, Google, Sears and Google's location intelligence solution. This event is organized by Sears and Google. Uh, Sears is Google's global premier partner, and it's a leading specialist in location intelligence services. Uh, before we move forward, some house rules. Uh, we would request everyone to not record the screen or unmute, unmute yourself because uh, we are also recording at our ends and we would be sharing this tech and the presentation as well as the recording after the event. Giving a short intro about our today's speaker, uh, we have with us Kunal Gupta who leads the practice for location intelligence for the South India region. I manage the practice for location intelligence for North India region. Quickly jumping on to today's agenda. So uh, we'll start our forum with an overview of field force management, uh, certain processes and certain systems which are being utilized uh, uh, you know, currently. Uh, then probably we'll also move to how field force management is being used in various industries. We would then deep dive into the field force management solution and also extend our discussion on you know, how field force management can be utilized in remote locations and later on we then move to the q a session so sears being a, a location based uh, you know service specialist we keep engaging with a lot of organization you know from pfsi retail uh, pharma automotive companies and when we you know deal with uh, most of the business units a uh, few questions which usually we receive from them is you know uh, while they have partly teams who are you know working from offices uh, fields which are working in on on field uh, they would want to understand you know what how how can they get more visibility into the system uh, for example uh, because of covid uh, there is hybrid work culture which has come into place however traditional industries a lot of people or you could say maximum people were operating on field right and managers and you know the higher management wanted to know you know how they can analyze their field how they can get real time updates uh, of, of their field force uh, without any kind of intervention right so this was one of the questions which usually comes up the other one is uh, when your sales rep or any of your representative from your offices they have certain meetings planned uh, are those meetings actually happening on field uh, plus are they happening at the right place or are they happening at the right time these are certain questions which come to their mind Plus, if we talk about meetings which are happening, how does one measure the performance of the field, field team, right? Because uh, they would want to understand whether the day of the sales rep or the operations rep, has it been productive or has it not been productive? So probably to answer all these questions, uh, let's, let's understand first uh, what, what exactly do we mean by field force management, right? So uh, basically, uh, any workforce management, right, it, it refers to managing your team which is outside your office premises or any outside your uh, uh, in the outside your company premises and this could include basic aspects such as you know tracking the vehicles tracking the field field force uh, scheduling and uh, dispatching workers ensuring whether you know all the processes and systems are working in the right fashion or not plus also managing the activity of the field personnel so all these aspects you know all these softer aspects would also be inco getting incorporated with the on field aspects such as if we talk about you know let's say a fmcg company you know some few things like uh, you know getting the billing in the right manner uh, you know order management inventory control and other employee system systems so all these in conjunction form a field force management system however uh, when one is implementing this system right one needs to make sure that it is implemented in the right fashion or not otherwise there could be chances that you know if not uh, if not positioned or not implemented with the right uh, in the right manner there could be certain things such as you know lower customer satisfaction uh, customer disappointments lower field force productivity as well as many other you know unforeseen circumstances coming up so we did some kind of secondary research and you know on you know finding out you know few things uh, when field force management is not implemented there were certain significant numbers which you know we came across 
so for example there is a field agent you know who is working on a field without any field force uh, management system just on the traditional current processes uh, companies have seen that you know most of the uh, time the 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 field force rep uh, you know he's trying to while away that his time maybe in his in in achieving his personal goals or let's say in doing un, you know some some activities which are not adding value to his his day so we've seen that around 40% of the work day gets wasted uh, in in all these non value adding activities uh, which in conjunction to this can you know lead to a you know customer satisfaction drop of around 20% so you know just just these are all significant numbers because you know if things are not implemented in the right fashion and there is less visibility you know uh, things could go you know on a flip side uh, however uh, if if the field force management system is implemented and integrated in the right way companies have seen some excellent numbers uh, probably in terms of sales productivity uh, they see that around you know it it goes to a level of around 14 and a half to 15% uh, majorly the contribution comes up in terms of the activities or the meetings getting more streamlined the meetings getting you know uh, getting run in the right fashion in the right time a uh, deal closure becomes a very big aspect for any of the businesses and companies have seen that there is around 30% increase if field force management and automation is brought into the system uh, specifically talking about traditional organization where you know a lot of field uh, field force is done field force is there and uh, you know there's a lot of face time which is required with the customer so the trust building factor the turnaround time everything you know uh, everything counts and that's where your you could see an uptick in the deal closure uh, however for any business you know uh, it's it's very important that you know uh, people focus on their individual task and less into intervening in you know uh, task of the other teams and using automation and you know field force management there could be a reduction of around 14% in the sales administration now this could be somewhere where uh, majorly the intervention is reduced uh, from the manager side as well as uh, because of uh, all this automation and you know all, all these platforms majorly the uh, management team gets updated in real time so that keeps on uh, that that keeps on getting updated as well as you know they they are you know kept abreast of all the latest happenings uh, on field uh, plus uh, if we talk about reduction in sales cycle i think this is an important aspect because you know tracking uh, your field getting more visibility in the, into the system uh, bringing a lot of task management tools and ideas it helps you to reduce the turnaround time and you know it it really reduces the sales cycle so these are all very powerful numbers and you know this is something which you know a lot of companies feel uh, could 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 be witnessed uh, once these uh, uh, once the field force uh, management is happening in the right fashion so a lot of variables uh, impacting getting impacted uh, once uh, the automation is done on field force but if we talk about what all are the components which uh, form a part of this field force activity is the first component would be your uh, you know the back end software uh, which should be accessible maybe from a mobile application or maybe from a web portal the second bit is or you would you would say the second component is the infrastructure or the database so for example you are running a cloud service that's hosting the entire application there's so much data which is being uh, generated from the field now you would want to understand certain insights from all this data you know a lot of things uh, such as you know uh, how long probably a service call should have taken uh, any recurring issue issue which is coming up or you know uh, the route which the person has traveled you know smaller details like this could help you to get some more insights and could help you to streamline the processes plus uh, if we talk about how the customer uh, service could be improved let's say let's let's take an example of a fmcg or a, or an fmcd industry where uh, there's an agent who is trying to do an amc for a customer so definitely he's 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 there for the amc however you know uh, he's not able to come to a solution so there should be modules such as you know uh, troubleshooting where you know someone from the team could help him to remotely get access to the resources or help him to solve the problems so these are the uh, top 3 components which should get added to the uh, which form a integral part of the field force solution now uh, before we deep dive further uh, let's see some of the current trends and certain approaches and practices which organizations have have been implementing using the field force management
right uh, thanks aniket for for the overview on field force management uh, so yeah i'll be taking from here to head from here and uh, i'll be taking you through the current systems and practice and some of the challenges that uh, organizations feel uh, while deploying field force management solutions uh, so yeah aniket uh, you can move to the next slide yeah uh so many uh, there are many uh, white label solutions that are present in the market right now uh, probably catering to multiple organizations but we have seen customers coming back and the common feedback has been that they are kind of restricting their scalability uh, scalability in terms of probably uh, providing new features or or uh, uh, if they want to have these operations in line uh, with what they have uh, on the ground that's where they're feeling uh, because of the low uh, scope of customization in these white level solutions. Uh, that's what has been coming in from the industry. Uh, moving on to the next one, uh, user experience is, uh, is an important part uh, because in different industries, users of the field for solutions or the app on the ground may be different. For example, let's say if we, it's, if we consider a BFSI industry, uh, the user of or the field rep might be a person who is a graduate but if you talk about uh, an fmcg industry the user might not be a graduate he might be a 10th or 12th pass out right so that's how the user uh, is different in different kind of industries and uh, since these solutions are made uh, with a standard design they might not be able to cater to the different user and hence there is a uh, uh, slash uh, from that uh, user base that they are not using these uh, uh, technologies and going back to uh, the traditional methods of uh, doing operations on the field. So uh, that's something that we have also seen. Uh, the next one, root optimization, this uh, probably is, is an important one because it, it uh, has two elements to it, right? One uh, would be the time that is uh, being taken or consumed by the field rep on the ground. Second is the uh, fuel, because many of the companies in different industries are kind of uh, reimbursing the fuel uh, that is being used by the field rep on field in a particular day. And we have seen that fuel prices have risen uh, significantly and uh, at a rapid pace in, in our country. Hence, uh, it poses as an operational cost, plus uh, more time for the field rep if the routes are optimized. Uh, the field reps get more time to visit more customers, hence bringing more business to the company. So th this is something that, that is really important. And we have seen that it, it's, it's kind of absent right now in most of the solutions that we are deploying in the industry. Coming on to the next one, that is field visibility. Uh, it's kind of important for the managers because a manager is responsible to uh, serve a particular geography. Uh, and it, it's important for him to see what all geography all, all, what all places in a particular geography they are kind of able to cater and which geographies are being left or if these uh, supermarkets or let's say hospitals are coming up new hospitals are coming up in newer uh, location in in this particular geography they need to keep a tab on that as well and need to serve that so that is something that is really important for the managers to see and and have that full visibility of the field uh, right now, how it's being done is that uh, it's, it's totally based on the knowledge of the field person in the market and uh, and on the occasional visits of the manager to the markets. Uh, but it can be done in a uh, well uh, digitized manner wherein they can make specific plans to visit specific places and uh, have new customers on board as well. So that's how geography planning can be done and field visibility can be increased. Yeah. Uh, Right. So these are some of the challenges that we have seen in uh, the existing uh, uh, existing systems that are being deployed. But uh, we have seen that these all are lacking some advanced functionalities that kind of uh, are, are felt to be the need of the R in the industry. I'll, I'll take you through them one by one. Uh, we, we can start with geofencing. So how geofencing can be seen in any particular industry like, is that uh, you may geofence an area of a field rep where he has to operate now a manager can get uh, notification that he is not operating in that area that is one way to look at geofencing or for example uh, in the corona times we have seen bfsi segments focus changing from acquisition of new customers to probably collections uh, collecting more from the existing loans that has been given up right so to ensure that their field reps are visiting all those locations the, where the customers are present 
these customer locations can be geofenced and the, the field rep can only uh, uh, mark his attendance or at that these locations if he is actually present in the geofenced geography of that particular uh, uh, customer so that is something that can be done or if 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 we take an example from fncg the managers uh, there is a managers uh, uh, prob a major problem that uh, the field reps are not actually going to each and every store that is there in their beat on a particular day so these stores can be geofenced and order uh, taking process can only be enabled if they are present in that particular store uh, geofence so that is something that can be done uh, people are doing it with uh, different methods but yeah, through location intelligence that can be easily automated uh, the next one would be in the lines of geofencing would be real time tracking where a manager wants to see the his field reps where they are in a particular point of time how, how many meetings they have done at a, a, a at some point in time in at, let's say middle of the day uh, right now how it's being done is what we have observed is that uh, through whatsapp locations or something like that but that can totally be automated and uh, it it's a, it is something that should be a part of a field force management solution when uh, organizations are deploying it another important part is the fuel reimbursement as we talked about in route optimization as well uh, there's a need for doing fuel reimbursement in some industries to the field reps and that can be totally automated by measuring the distance that has been traveled by the uh, field force so uh, because it it poses a big uh, operational uh, what we can say operational delays in probably providing reimbursements to the uh, field reps and that's actually provides a very uh, uh, bad experience for the employees as well so if this is this process is automated the operational fuss is gone and the employees can be reimbursed uh, in a faster fashion as well so that is something that is missing uh, majorly from the industry in the current field force uh, solutions that we have uh, and i'm going to the next one although reporting is there in most of the uh, in most of the field force management solutions in the market but uh, the absence of advanced analytics uh, for example uh, giving the insight to the field rep on what customer to visit at what time what customer is a must visit what skus to be pushed to what customer retailer based insights on how how the retailer's behavior is and what is he is going to take so that you push similar products to him or cross sell or upsell those products to him all those analytics has been missing from all these uh, field force management solutions that can be a part of uh, 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 the solutions uh, in the future so yeah that that is something these all are the challenges that we have observed uh, from the from our customer conversations that we have uh, across industries and talking about industries since we observe that and we can see that field force management on a on a larger view is kind of similar and the operations are similar across industries but it's not the case uh, and we have, we have drilled down to probably let's say three industries that we uh, have observed the operations to be different but it, it it's not just the three industries there are uh, it it's true for all the industries uh, and again if you could uh, get to the next slide so yeah uh, on the slide you can see three industry bfsi retail and pharma but even if we take telecom or let's say manufacturing or any other industry the operation difference is similar across the all the industries and hence uh, a white label solution made let's say for bfsi would not be suitable for a cpg industry or something like that so we have also we also have listed some of the elements on the left hand side of the slide if you can see like fixed road dynamic lead location these are the operations that are being taken care of by the the employees in all these industries and and differ and we will go through them uh, one by one so let's say in a bfsi industry they the field reps are traveling uh, or or the meetings are being fixed uh, on a day prior or a week prior to it but if we see retail and pharma th there are fixed routes so they have to travel uh, on on a weekly or a biweekly basis on a fixed route that they are doing right so that is an operational difference that is there within these industries if you talk about dynamic lead allocation a bfsi might have a dynamic lead allocation where the manager is asking a field rep to go at a particular to go and meet a particular customer in a particular point of time but that doesn't happen in retail and pharma hence the interfaces that these industries need for these operations though similar but has to be different 
similarly for bee planning it's present in retail and pharma but it's not done in bfsi rural coverage we'll talk more on rural coverage in the uh, in the slides uh, uh, that are we, that we are going to present uh, later in the webinar uh, but as we know in uh, organizations uh, are drilling deeper into the uh, rural markets because they they feel and they know that the growth has going to come from that market in future uh, as urban keeps on saturating day by day so there are challenges of, of operating in rural uh, areas we will uh, look at that in uh, subsequent portions portions of the webinar uh, uh, collections uh, are there in bfsi in retail and pharma it's being taken care of by the distributor company is not concerned with that hence the interface can't be same field visit reports though they all need field visit reports but the reports has to be different the metrics are different right so that way it is kind of has to be customizable and different order booking uh, bfsi does not need to book any orders on the app but retail and pharma has to have orders on the app book orders on the app so that, that's where the interface uh, differs and uh, as i talked uh, because of these these differences these minor differences in the operations on all these elements there might be more more and more elements to that but yeah because of that uh, a field force solution can not be a one size fit all kind of a solution and hence uh aniket if you could move to the next slide and hence we believe in providing customized solutions to the field force uh management uh, to organizations uh in different industries i'm i'm, I'm uh, aniket if you could move back to the next slide previous slide yeah yeah i i am sure that uh you all might have related to some of the other or the other challenges that i've uh, taken you through in the last slide but i am also sure that there might be some challenges that are not on the uh, screen because these challenges are specific to how you operate uh, on the field right and that, that is where again a customized solution is needed wherein fears as a partner comes in and we sit with your uh, manager we sit with your field reps we analyze what problems that you have on ground and then the solutions the app flow and the features are mapped accordingly and hence the field force manager management solution is being deployed in your organization so that's how we uh, do that we also know that a manager and a field rep is is, is are the major stakeholders that are going to be affected from this solution and we are in the next portion of the slides we are going to take you through uh, some of the snippets that would let you know how the solutions would look like also we are going to cover them step by step on a, 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 what all activities these uh, managers and field reps are doing uh, on a on a daily basis so yeah uh, on the screen you can see a manager dashboard wherein uh, firstly a manager would want to assign tasks to a particular field rep or or probably he wants to plan beats for a particular field rep for the for the whole week or for two weeks and also he can see the geo the locations of the customers he can mark these locations geo tag it uh, he has a, a, a map view of that uh, geography that he wants to uh, probably uh, play into so that all can be done through these uh, uh, through these interfaces and it's kind of customizable uh, according to the requirement of your particular operations that you are doing uh, aniket if you could move to the next slide now once the field rep has started his day uh, at a particular geography uh, the manager can come in and probably see what all uh, his field reps are doing in on the ground it's it's live visibility of those field reps you can probably select a particular field rep can see in real time what all meetings he has completed what all meetings are left to be completed and all that that data all the polylines that he have probably traveled the routes that he have traveled in in a particular point of time uh, in the day all that information can be seen through these kind of interfaces aniket if you could yeah thank you now when 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 the field rep has completed his day now it's it's important to know how much distance he has traveled since field fuel fuel reimbursements are also a part of it but it's also important the routes he has taken and all the meetings that he has done so all that day daily data of what he has been doing in all the day uh, how many stops he has made how many time how much time he has consumed at what locations and if he has done done his minimum uh, time of operation that he needs to do on field all that can be visible and from here itself you the manager can approve his fuel reimbursement so that the operational fuss of doing it doing it is eliminated 
so all that can be done through uh, this interface and again uh, because he has to take care of all of his field reps he has a larger view of his geography what field rep is doing what what is the kpi is being met if the targets met or not uh, how much geography is left to cover etc and it's a hierarchical view so uh, a manager's manager can see all his managers uh, uh, geography and what is being done in that uh, regards so that gives a holistic view to uh, a, a person who is kind of seeing uh, more, uh, the geography so yeah that is something that a manager can do uh, there there is more to it but yeah again depends on what exact operations that you are doing on a daily level and what requirements uh, are actually there from your side so aniket uh, you can move on to the next slide uh, and take them through the uh, field review yes thanks kunal so i think uh, kunal has given us an excellent walk through for the managers field force application uh, now let me just uh, give you a glimpse of how the field agents application would look like right so it's it's a very uh, very basic very functional and a very easy to use application uh, it's more like an activity management system or you could say an activity management application which captures a lot of details for example you know the your 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 uh, meeting details the location addresses of the customers plus even a uh, different uh, reporting systems like your field visit, visit reports right these are certain things which could form a part of the field agents application so uh, just taking an example let's say uh, there is a field rep uh, who starts off his day uh, he starts using this application he logs in into the system uh, he he then goes to check in uh, and may mark his attendance once his attendance gets marked he then uh, gets all the details about the meetings uh, and the day daily tasks which are allocated to him on that particular day once he gets all these details uh he gets to know what all customers which he needs to uh, you know cover to uh, throughout the day uh the meetings which he needs to be do uh, which the meetings which he needs to do uh, and complete as well as the targets which he needs to uh, achieve during the day so these are certain things which get captured uh, when he logs in into the system however uh, when he's on field right a lot of things uh, or a lot of elements which help him to understand uh the you know the real time scenario something like how the customer order history is uh specifically if if we talk about the retail industry he would want to know uh the entire order history of a specific customer then probably he's got n number of meetings he would also want to understand uh where exactly the customers are located how does he navigate to this uh, to this uh, to xyz customer in the most optimized manner so these are certain things which can help him to a uh, save a lot of time a lot of effort as well as also save a lot of cost uh, so another important thing which which uh, also becomes a part of the on field uh, uh, premises is that uh, the field agents location this is completely geofence if you talk about geofence let's take an example uh, there is an agent uh, xyz uh, and the man and his manager has geofence rim for around for a 3 km radius so uh, now once the field rep is within that 3 km radius the manager automatically gets a notification or an update that hey this this xyz person has uh, uh, reached the location or he is in the vicinity of the meeting location and for example if uh, the same uh, same rep if he moves uh, beyond the 3 km radius right again uh, the the manager will get a notification that you know hey xyz a uh, rep has moved out from the location and he's breached that boundary so uh, these are certain small small things which can help you to have better control better visibility into your field reps position as well as they can help you to also streamline uh, his entire day bring bring, uh, bring a lot of productivity into the system and also understand what are certain reasons in case the delays or any breach is happening so overall this helps you to uh improve your daily processes your daily uh, workforce systems uh if we talk about how uh, the sales rep probably or or any field rep would be ending the day so when he logs off uh, uh, for the day uh, he would get a dashboard or you could say certain insights in terms of how his performance has been during the day uh, the targets which he has achieved uh, some employee benefits such as the uh, earnings incentives or you know something like a fuel reimbursement or a claim which he needs to do 
so these are small small app aspect which give him day to day uh, updates and you know it keeps him informed of all these daily activities so uh, overall this helps you to optimize and bring in a lot of efficiency into both the fields uh, uh, day to day activities as well as the managers day to day activities and that's how the operations would get more streamlined so now since you know we've just deep dived into the field force management solution uh, let us also see how our solution can also help uh, companies to you know operate in the most uh, more effective manner specifically with certain challenges which these companies face uh, you know in remote ro- uh, locations or maybe any rural locations over to you kunal sure. uh, thank you niket uh, if you could move to the next slide thanks a lot uh, yeah be there uh, yeah Uh, as i had talked a while back about organizations moving to rural markets for growth so it's not very easy right there are challenges to have proper visibility and tracking of field reps in those locations so we have worked thoroughly with uh, some organizations to solve similar problems and have developed our algorithms to have tracking done seamlessly and to have an automated fuel reimbursement process in those remote locations which is kind of very different because the distances that you get in a remote area would be a very different one from what you are actually get like the from what the field rep has actually traveled right this is majorly due to the poor network in rural areas the the lat longs that are being fetched from the uh, field rep's mobile geocoder uh, gives distorted results and might give some polylines where the rep has not even traveled right and and hence we have developed our algorithm which helps eliminate all those uh, outliers and gives the actual distance traveled by the field rep so if if you can see on the screen there there are two images that are there uh, on the left and the right hand side the red one is the non processed one uh, wherein you can see when he starts initially there are, there, is, there is a distortion in the polyline and then on the along the route as well there's a uh, another polyline that that is to the right of the actual traveled polyline and hence it becomes as a distortion and gives a an extra kilometer that uh the the field rep has traveled and in the end also you you would be able to see that uh it shows that a particular field rep has traveled to a location that might be 10 to 15 kilometers farther than the location that he had taken a u turn right so that is something that gives uh distorted results in terms of the actual distance traveled by the field rep but through our algorithm we have managed to get on an average 97% accuracy of the distance traveled vis-a-vis the vehicle automator and and hence that makes the solution very reliable in terms of automatic fuel reimbursement for the field representatives this might be for let's say a uh, microfinance company operating in remote locations uh, for their uh, groups or the customers uh, or probably let's say uh, a, a field rep a sales agent who who is working for an fmcg company in remote location so that that that, that can be true for uh, any of these uh, users for of the field force management software uh, now uh, i'll hand over to aniket uh, to uh, take you through how google maps platform as a technology stack empowers all the above solutions uh, that we have talked about and uh, yeah t- we'll take you through uh, what cs does on a uh, larger basis as well right. over to aniket thanks thanks kunal uh, so uh, guys i think uh, we have uh, given a lot of facts and figures regarding how probably the field force management solution works and how it is being used across the current industries and what are the recommended ways in which you could uh, you know build in a lot of efficiency and bring in a lot of optimization into the system however uh, there's an important aspect uh, as in uh, you know what's the platform which is being used to power all this uh, all the entire field force management right so uh, majorly we talk about google maps platform which uh, brings in a lot of insights with the help of the apis so if we talk about google maps platform it's divided into three products sub products maps routes and places maps helps you to understand uh, visualize uh, the entire location uh, probably for example if we are talking about field force where your current uh, you know rep is you could locate him on the map uh, on, on the maps uh, using majorly the dynamic maps then if we talk about routes it gives you uh, the distances the travel time the etas and you know uh, all these different details about uh, different locations and places and if you talk about places so places give you give you a lot of info uh, in terms of a particular establishment businesses 
or let's say meeting locations where your uh, field trip is going to travel uh, also certain auto, uh, you know certain features like auto auto complete or autofill where you just type in and you know all the details get captured automatically uh, something like a geo coding which gives you a lot of uh, uh, you know give, gives you the latin long or you know the current location of your uh, field rep so all these things are you know uh, done using the google maps apis and uh, these are one of the most powerful apis which we have in the current system so this was a short uh, brief about google maps platform let me also uh, you know run you through what sears does so you know we are a google premier partner uh, we've been we are if we talk about uh, you know what our special specialization is so we are a modern tech a consulting organization we help companies to uh, get digitally transformed uh, we help them to get started off with using a lot of cloud native technologies uh, uh, we are uh, headquartered out of the us uh, and now we are have a strength of around 1400 plus people uh, a robust team of around 600 plus engineers and uh, for the last four plus year we've been uh, winning the partner award so uh, if we talk about uh, the partnership so we are a google premier partner in terms of google cloud google maps and google workspace uh, so if i just give you a short glimpse of you know what kind of services which we we usually deal in uh, let's say cloud modernization so let's say you know you have uh, uh, you know you would want to digitize your current infrastructure uh, so what we can do is we can try to uh, um, uh, we can try to assess uh, how your infrastructure is currently whether it's completely on prem whether you're working hybrid whether you would want to migrate uh, it into a multi cloud we can try to do that assessment and we can come up with the right cloud strategy for this similarly a lot of data keeps getting generated on your systems uh, we can try to understand how uh, what's the best way if we can utilize this data we can try to create some kind of insights so with the use of automation dat dashboarding we can try to uh, put a lot of ai ml layers and try to generate more insights which can give you more uh, business outcomes uh talking about software engineering uh, we have a robust team of you know 600 plus certified engineers who have got all the technical capabilities to build custom solutions as per your need so that's something which we can do in house uh if we talk about location intelligence that's a practice which kunal and i am current are coming from so here we basically talk about getting uh, customers started with using google map technology right so you might have seen the likes of ola uber or zomato who have been leveraging all these kind of systems and that's where your customer experience get enhanced as well as you can also streamline your operations using these google maps so this is just a, a short glimpse about our services uh just a short uh, you know a summary of you know the customers with whom we keep on engaging so this is all for cloud maps as well as workspace and you know how probably we can help you out uh, you know in terms of being your right uh, system integrators would be uh, you know we have a very account based approach where you know we try to analyze we try to understand what uh, what the entire company or an organization is into what kind of business model are they following uh, we try to you know support you with the you know latest use cases because we deal with a lot of companies across industries so that's where we can bring that intel uh, uh, we do have uh, for every account we do have certain dedicated reps who would be helping who would be being a support system for you in terms of any kind of engagement you want let's say a cloud or a maps or a gws so we have dedicated resources uh, we as i as i also mentioned that we have a robust team of you know 600 plus certified engineers we do a lot of custom development where you know we can build solutions for you let's say if we just talk about the field force uh, management system so while uh, as kunal mentioned that you know field force management solution would be different for different different industries there would be two three commonalities however for each industry there is a different kind of specialization or a different kind of metrics which is required so we have those capabilities to build this entire uh, system as per your uh, you know as per your needs as per your industry needs and requirements that's something which we we can do and if we talk about other industries there is a lot of dashboarding automation and you know a lot of product development which we can do Uh, since uh, being google premier partners uh, we have the advantage uh, to promote a lot of uh, use cases which your company is being utilized using using google maps or google cloud we can try to create certain case studies or we can have some some fire fireside fireside chat and we can definitely help you to uh, 
do some promotion using uh, the Google platform. And if we talk about volume discounts, uh, this is an exclusive service which one gets uh, only from a partner like Sears. And this is only in terms of the Google Maps because the pricing for Google Maps that's different on a credit card uh, as compared to a partner. So that's something you know where we can bring the you know uh, okay of things and we can help you to be the right service and system integrators for your firm. Uh, so I think uh, that's it from our end. Uh, happy to take up questions. Uh, yeah. You can also note down our uh, coordinates in case you probably feel like asking questions over mail. So you can also have that. Any questions? Uh, any clarity on any of the points which we had mentioned? Hey, hi, Anikit. Deepak here from Fine. So, just wanted to understand: like, are you also giving a visit plan along with the route maps, or how how does that work? Let's say if I want to allocate a certain location or certain route to a executive. So are you kind of supporting with that as well, or how is it? Uh, Aniket, if uh, I may answer that. Uh, hi, Deepak. Uh, hi, so, hi. Uh, could you uh, probably uh, throw some more light on your question, as in you are saying that uh, we'll be providing you with uh, direct, like, uh, could, you, could you throw some more light on the question? I, I could, was not able right. to. Right. So yeah, like I, I saw like wherein like we can see, you, uh, let's say if I'm allocating a driver A to the route B, right? Right. So is it possible for me to manage the driver's route accordingly? Let's say I don't want the driver to travel on route X. Instead of that, I want to travel, I want it. him to travel on route Y. Right. Got it. So is it possible for me to have this kind of module on the app? Also, yeah. like, let's say, uh, is it possible for me to generate reports on his performance or like, how does that work? Got it. Got it. Also, if I may ask, uh, actually, which industry are you kind of working in, uh, so that I can give you a better answer on that? Yeah, uh, yeah, Kunal. So we are into mobility space. All right. Got it. Uh, so yes, Deepak, the the answer to your first question that if you can probably uh, provide him a better route, uh, then the the answer is yes, uh, provided that you know uh, beforehand which route you want him to take. Right. That is the answer to the question that you have. Uh, that that module can be built, and and okay. and the other part wherein you can see the metrics of how he has performed, or uh, according to whatever metric you have in in the mobility space, uh, let's say how many rides he has done, or how how much distance he has traveled in total. All that metrics can be uh, probably formed and given it to you uh, after the day. So that is possible. Got it. Got it. And okay, so yeah, right. yeah, yeah, please. That go. I'll, I'll just ask it a little later. So that's okay. You you can ask if we don't have any other questions. You can go on. Okay. So yeah, like the actual question was like, let's say, uh, huh? I'll frame it this way, right? So let's assume that I uh, a driver. Like where are you based out of Kunal? So basically, we. Uh, our organizations based out of Pune. Uh, okay, uh, mm -hmm. as in uh, I personally, where am I based off? Is it what you're asking? Yeah, like I just want to understand. Like I just want to give you a scope of uh, my question. All so right, all right. So I am like I am based out of Jaipur. I know about Pune and Bangalore. Uh, so you can do that. Okay, right. So we are based in Bangalore. So I'll just give you an idea, right? So let's say uh, let's assume the driver is going to HSR layout. Okay. Okay. And like I want him to be uh, mapped to Kor Mangla instead of HSR. Okay. Okay. Two different locations in two different directions. Right. 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 So is it possible for me to do that? And the second thing is like uh, let's say if a driver, uh, let's say let's assume I'm talking about delivery executive, right? Right. So is it possible for me to understand like the number of drop points that this guy had, or like let's say number of stops that this guy has done had? Yes. The answer to both the questions is yes. Uh, uh, Provided you have control over his app, the, the app he is using, you can give him a new stop, or you can give him a new like a new destination to reach, or you can also know 
uh, how many stocks he has taken for how many minutes. So that's that's already that's also uh, that is possible. Okay, like is it a part of the app? Like, which is, is it inbuilt in the app, or like uh, should I ask, do something on my own? So that is the question. So again, it, it's basically we build it for you on your requirement. So whatever we okay. so like right. uh, taking you through in the uh, presentation. Uh, as we said, uh, like the the requirements are different for different industries, people like the for different operations. So yes, uh, the system is to be built uh, according to your requirements. So yeah. Got it. Okay, understood. Thank you. Thank, thanks, Deepak, for uh, putting up that question. Any other question that we have from anyone? You can also write your questions to us in case you kind of want to uh, ask questions after this webinar. You can note down our coordinates here on the screen and uh, can shoot up a mail. Any questions? Also, guys, if you have any questions or anything very specific, or you know, maybe anything more technical, you can also try to have a separate session with you guys individually. So that's also something which is possible. Uh, you know. No more questions. Uh, okay, Anjana has a question. Uh, uh, will the manager be able to check if the field agent has visited the designation location, designated location? Or, okay. So yes, Anjana, uh, manager has the access, or in real time he can see uh, where his field rep is present. And if he wants to see if the field agent has visited that designated location or not, he can see that. Or even if he wants to see how much time he has uh, uh, probably taken at 